Hi, this is Neil Walters, and in this video, I'm going to explain what is Evernote. It's a tool I use every day, and I find it now indispensable. I'm going to start by showing you the desktop interface. So there's basically the web interface, the phone interface, and then your desktop interface. So I'm running Windows here, and I'm going to open this interface. And on the left over here, you can see you have notebooks. And by the way, see, I have 2,400 notes in my Evernote uh, system in my database, okay? And... Uh, over time, I've collected these. And I, I take a lot of notes when I take classes and stuff online, and I put them in here. Um, you can actually encrypt stuff, which like maybe I'll explain later in this video or another one. And you can group your notes together into notebooks. So this is the notebooks I have on the left. And just as a couple examples, then, if you want to search, uh, I'm a member of something called OMG, and I'm going to show you this later on the phone as well. OMG stands for One Man Group, and that's a, a, a business I'm in that's teaching us how to do search engine optimization and marketing on the web. Okay, so there's one of the teachers there, one of the they call them player coaches, is called Joe Marfolio, and I just wanted to find some of the notes I've taken from him. And the reason I'm picking his example is during the video that I was watching online, I took some screenshots. And what I use is a program called Snagit from uh, TechSmith. And I do little snaggets of the pictures, and you can just actually paste them right into Evernote right here. And then later you can come back and, and view them. You can actually even attach PDFs and files and other types of documents in your Evernote, even though I don't consider Evernote like a document storage system. For that, I would use Google Docs or Dropbox or something like that. But you can actually store documents in Evernote as well. And so anyway, here's examples of some video training he was doing. So that's one example. Another thing I do, let me show you, is I'm taking some Jewish classes online, and a lot of our classes have Hebrew in them. So here's an example of our teacher gives us the text on the screen, and once again, I snag it because I need to be able to, he starts talking about that text, and so below it then, I take my notes, and then I transliterate some of the Hebrew words as needed, and sometimes he highlights text on the screen, so it's a great interactive tool to be able to see a video or a training like that and to learn it and to save your notes. And of course you can color text and you can use red and, and different things to call attention to your headings, that type of thing. So here in the Windows program, if I want to add a new note, I just go up here and type new note like this. And I can say, uh, this is my title. And actually it'll save that title up there in the title line. And then you can say, uh, I took these notes on 01-23-2016 about a class I was taking. And now suppose I want to insert a picture in there. This is uh, the Snagit tool that I use. And uh, when I take, when I go to a webinar or something like that online, I usually take some screenshots and I, I took a picture of this guy. And now I want to just basically did a control C for copy. And then I come over here and put a control V for paste. And say this is Michael Martin talking about Facebook advertising. And then, by the way, you can tag your documents. You can come up here and say, click add, to add tag. And then I could call this, uh, I could put his last name here, Martin. And then I could put uh, FB for Facebook. And then I could put uh, like advertising, like that. So we basically tagged it, and then it's easier to go back and search for your tags later. You can even set reminders and, and stuff like that. Now, one thing that's really cool here, let me show you, is you can share it. So you can come over here. This will be off the screen just a little bit. It says copy share URL, and that puts it in your copy-paste buffer. And then you can go to a website. And let me open a new tab in my browser here. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the uh, URL at the top, and I'm just going to paste in the address, the URL that that software just gave me, and print enter. And then my note should pop up on the screen. And then I could take that URL, and I could paste it into an email and send it to a friend and say, look, here's some notes I took on my class I'd like to share with you. So this is how you can share a note to anyone on the web. Okay, and there the page loaded. Now, you can't change the note when you share the URL like that. You'd have to go back to the web interface. You'd have to log on. Then you can change the note. And then there's special features where you can actually share notes where two people can update the same note. And now, that I've never done because uh, if I share a document, I usually use Google Docs for that. And I, we have two people editing it at the same time. But that's a feature of Evernote. And they, they even recently added a chat feature. 
Now I'll show you the same thing on my cell phone. I'm going to go to a different video now and talk you through what I did there. And I use an Android phone. Of course, it works for Apple as well. Okay, so this is my Android phone. I'm clicking on the icon to open it. You see a list of notes. I'm doing a search. I'm typing in OMG Joe again. And there are the notes that it matches. You can see that little kind of a flow chart. I click on that note. You can scroll up and down, of course. There's your picture. I can click on one of the pictures and open it. Take a closer look at it. I can use the uh, stretch the fingers in and out to make it bigger, pinch it, you know, make it smaller and bigger. And then I click the edit button and then I'm going to go to the bottom and add some text to the note. So I found the bottom, click my finger there and I'm typing in test just as an example. And then when I'm done, I click that little check box in the upper left corner and it saves the note, it says it saved it. Okay, now here's the Evernote website, and this is their homepage. If you scroll down, you can see their different pricing options, but they basically do have a free version that'll probably last you quite a, a long time. I think I signed up a while back when they just had basic and premium, and I just felt like this is a tool that I rely on, and I wanted to contribute to it and also get any extra features that they had available. Now I'm going to sign in and show you what the notes look like. Now, of course, you can sort the notes different way. This is what I, the note I just saved on the cell phone a few minutes ago. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see the word test, which I added on my cell phone. And it basically synchronized it back to the web, which is so cool how it just syncs everything. Of course, you can do your notebooks. You can add new notes from here. The features are about the same. It's just pointing out that they do have a web interface. And I just wanted to make sure you saw that. So that's a quick summary of Evernote. It, again, it's a tool I use every day. Uh, it's just amazing the fact that it can sync it up and, and back up your notes. And you can have them on your PC and your phone, take them with you everywhere you go. I've been places where I've been in line uh, at a conference or something and they needed to know something and I'd had it, I had it saved in Evernote. You know, you maybe need your driver's license number, your license tag number, social security number, whatever. You can put all that kind of stuff in here. Oh, and let me show you encryption, speaking of social security numbers. So like, suppose you had a, a, a password or some, uh, some code that you didn't want to give out, your bank account number. So you could say, uh, I use uh, XYZ Bank, and my account number is, and let's just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever, something like that. Okay, so now we're ready to do encrypt that. We highlight it, we right click, and then you go down here and you're looking for encrypt. And there it says encrypt selected text. And then what you do is once you come here, you basically enter a, a password. And it suggested you use the same encryption phrase on all your different documents. So I'm going to enter that right now. And I finished that off the video. And now you can see that this note has this little locked information in there. So basically, anybody that opens the note, even if you were to share it on the web, they're not going to have access to that secret number. And then to get that number back, you're going to right click on it and say show encrypted text. And then here, you have to enter the exact same passphrase you used when you uh, saved it, basically. So let me do that. And now it basically puts a little box around it, and it shows you the value as it is uncrypted, un or decrypted, I guess is the word. And you're done. And now if you ever go to another note and come back to that one, you'll see it's, it's hidden again. And you'd have to right-click again, say, show me the encrypted text. So that's very safe. It is a high level of encryption, and only people who have your special encryption password would be able to get to it. And that's different, by the way, than your Evernote password. So that's my summary of Evernote. You can see there I have 2,400 notes in it. I use it all the time. I, I use it on my phone a lot. I take notes for all, a lot of, almost all my classes in it. Uh, I'm an avid learner, a professional student, so when I learn and take classes, I put my notes in here. I put my, some of the pictures and screenshots in here. And if you want to learn more about marketing, check the links I have below. It's really a fun business to do. You know, I make videos. I use all the different social tools and like that to make a little extra money on the Internet. So check it out below, and I'll see you in the next video. Click subscribe if you want to be made aware of all the new videos I've got coming out. Talk to you soon.